I think um, we're just riding. I think it's going to take us where we need to go. That's the way. My hell. Poor Arthur. There's a good man within you. But he is wrestling with a giant. I'm really sorry for you, son. It's a hell of a thing. And all you can do now is decide the man you want to be for the time you have left. And he's going to do the right thing. Jesus Christ, this is hard going, isn't it? It shows what a good game it is, though. Um, but it means this much to you, really. I'll hold it together, though. I'll be manly. That's the way. That's the way. You saved my life. You're a good man. You know all that ever mattered to me was loyalty. It's all I ever believed in. Yeah, he, he is a good man. Uh, he's he's doing the best he can now. Try. Try to do the good thing. I think we're nearly back to uh, Beaver Hollow. He's going to go and sort the other two out. God, I want to get Micah. Get them bags packed up quick, Miss Grimshaw. Come on, all of you. Well, we're doing our best. Hurry. We ain't got long. Hurry. We just got plenty of time, Micah. Oh. We all need to have a little chat. Black Long, you're back. Hooray. <coughs> <coughs> I just saw Agent Milton, Dutch. Abigail shot him. She's okay. Not that you care too much about that. You rats. All of you. Seems old Mark, it was pretty close with Milton. What the hell are you talking about, cowpoke? You talked. That's a goddamn lie. Dutch. Dutch. Think of the future. Milton told me. And you believe him, Black Lung? You believe him? It all makes sense now. No. It damn well doesn't. Shit. Dutch. Think. Dutch. Be practical now. Dutch! Uh, John? Oh, God, John's there. You left me. You left me to die. Shit. My boy, I didn't have a choice. John, I didn't. It's you, I didn't have a choice. You left me. All of you, you pick your side now because this is over. All oh, them years, Dutch, for this snake. <laughs> oh, be quiet, cowpoke. Be quiet. You live in the clouds. No. You be quiet, Mr. Bell. Nice one, Grimshaw. Put down your gun. There's Pinkerton's coming fast. Oh, God, he shot her. Now! Who amongst you is with me? And who is betraying me? Well, I'll be in. Think for yourself. He's lying. He's lying. 
Put your guns down! Here come the Pinkertons. You ready, John? Yeah. Everyone get down! This is Angel Rock with the Pinkerton Detective Agency. Put your guns down! Right, so it's Michael all the time. Dutch isn't listening. We have to surround it. And he left John to die. Oh, we need to get out of here. They go. Oh, they're leaving us to it. There's more of them coming. Come on, Arthur! Into the caves! Quick! Christ, you're going into the caves. How'd you get in? Right, let's get, get in. Jesus, can't see a bloody thing. Right, let's get out of here. So it's just Arthur and John. Bloody Keep Micah going. and the rest left us to him. Those bastards left me for dead. Seems that's what they do now. I see them over here. Right, let's get Arthur. Let's get out of here. Was the rat, John? Milton told me. Keep going. Kill that asshole. All right, let's get up the bloody ladder. What about the money? It's in here. Yeah, sort, no sort the money. We'll Just run. Get out of there. They're right on us, Arthur. Come on. <coughs> Are you all right, Arthur? I'm with you. Keep going. Hey, hold it right there. I want that bastard dead. All right, keep going up. Come on, keep going. Oh, we're getting out of here. Let's go, Arthur. Push. Jump up. Arthur, you go up first. Okay. Get out of this bloody cave. Come on. Abigail. Abigail's safe. So's Jack. Where are they? It was Sadie. The Copperhead landing. Thank you, brother. I want you to not look back. Like I said. Yeah, this is very setting them free. <laughs> Alright, so that's the other lot. Jesus, are they off? So they're shooting at us? Arthur, we gotta go. Bloody hell, so Dutch and Mike are shooting at us. Arthur, we gotta go. Come on, ride. There's Pinkerton's up ahead in the tree. Right, keep going. Ride, Arthur, ride. Come on, keep going. That's far enough. They're blocking the road! This way! Which way? Yeah! Right. Come on, Arthur! Go. Follow John. Bloody hell, it's so dark, I can't see a bloody thing. On the left, Arthur! They'll keep Dutch busy! Oh, so we've got Dutch following us, trying to shoot us, and we've got the Pinkertons as well. Shit! They're everywhere! This way! Oh, no! Take much more of this. Thank you. Arthur! Oh, Blank is dead. Come on, Arthur. Yeah, let's go. Well, what about the money? Abigail gave me the key. I head down there, I'm dead in five minutes. I got a family. That's more important. Uh, maybe you're right, but uh, you want the money? You head down. 
I gotta go to my family. Right, let's help Arthur. John get to safety. I'm coming with you. Yeah. I'm gonna get you out of this bullshit. If it's the last goddamn thing I do. Absolutely. Thank you. Ah, oh, shit! Let's go! We need to find higher ground! Don't worry about them! I'll just be going back for the I money. don't quite know how I'm doing this. So you be and ever everything? Oh, I'm glad we're helping John out. That was definitely the right call to make. Get him out of here. You can always come back for the money. Keep going, Arthur. Come on. Shit. <sighs> well, let's get up this cliff. Yeah. Here you go. Come on, Arthur. Keep pushing. They're climbing. Come on, keep going. I think Arthur's nearly done, isn't he? Get behind a rock! God damn it! They're everywhere! Get out! I'll take these lot out. I can still shoot. God, they're all around us. I gotta move! We need Follow we John. need to get out of here! Let's... Oh, poor Arthur. All right, Arthur, come on, let's go. You go. Keep pushing, Arthur. No. <coughs> no. I think I've pushed all I can. Come on. You go. Oh, Arthur. We ain't got time for this. Not now. We ain't both gonna make it. Go. Now. I'll hold them up. It would mean a lot to me. Please. There ain't no more time for talk. Go. Arthur. Go to your family. Arthur! Get the hell out of here and be a goddamn man. You're my brother. I know. I know. Bloody hell. You saved John's life. God damn you bastards! Where are they? There's one here. Dirty mongrel. I got you now, black lung. Rat. You rat. I'm a survivor, black lung. A survivor. That's all there is. Get him, huh? Living and dying. Ah! Oh, shit. Get in. Come on, Arthur. <laughs> Wrestling.
Get in. Come on, Arthur. Yeah. Beauty. Come on. Come on! Get him, Arthur. Jesus. Spineless bastard. Hold it up, come on. It's like Street Fighter. Dutch. What is it? It's over. Oh, Dutch. He's right. You know it, and I know it. He's sick. He's dying. He's talking crazy. Come on, Dutch. Let's go, buddy. We made it. <laughs> we won it. Come on. John made it. He's the only one. <laughs> the rest of us. No. I tried. In the end, I did. Come on. Let's go. We can make it. Jesus, Dutch. Come on, Dutch. Come on! You did it, Arthur. Did what he said he was going to do. Stand on 
That was close. Too Bloody close. Hell grown up. We brought that trouble on ourselves. By we, you mean me. The one me who went and shot him. Seems like he deserved shoot. I'm sure he did. But I've been thinking, ain't it about time you stop being the man making them decisions? I'm trying. Are you? I think so. <laughs> we gotta find some place to lay low. Oh, Keep bloody quiet. Arthur. <sighs> Maybe Dutch was right. He was awesome. Maybe we should have just gone to Tahiti. Is that it with you? Tahiti or killing? Come on, John. Please, try. Try what? We gotta live somewhere for more than just a few weeks. Okay. Let's see what we can find in, in Strawberry. What do you know about Strawberry? I know they like good, honest, hard-working men a whole lot more than angry killers. So make yourself good and honest. I am always honest. Maybe not always good. I'm always honest. My whole life I've been surrounded by fools with moral codes. Here's the moral code. Look out for folks. Stop trying to act like some hero in a book. What do you know about heroes in books? My reading's getting pretty good. Well, read different books then. The books is Jack's. And, well, maybe he's doing right, nothing. Right, so we're now but job mastered. You're a bad influence on your mother, boy. So Arthur what? did what he said he was going to do, sorry, and he sorry. set them free. What was that? I said you're so we're heading into Strawberry. Uh, Jack's grown up a little bit. And uh, Abigail books? and John are still Which arguing. Was that? You know that but it's a new start for boy. them. Boy, Calloway and that's what uh, Arthur wanted. Whatever it was. Uh, oh, oh, oh Micah, I, I absolutely hate him. Really but what a character he was as well. Right, okay, so let's head towards Strawberry. What's that, sir? Do you enjoy tales of the Wild West? So I don't think we're too far, but when we get a bit nearer, we will see you there. You know. So welcome back. So we're just getting into Strawberry now. And I think Abigail and John and Jack are looking to sort of move around here. Why don't you pull up just here? I'm going to go see what kind of good, honest work I can find. Grave digging or... Polishing some rich fella's boots or some such. Me too. <laughs> as long as they pay the well. Can find some laundry work or something. Right, let's head down and see what's going on. Help you, son? I'm hoping I can help you. I saw the help wanted sign outside. Sure, but uh, you're a bit old to be stacking groceries and running errands, ain't you, son? Well, uh, I ain't too proud to do nothing. As long as it's honest, and it pays. <laughs> Time's hard, Mr. Uh, Milton. Jim Milton. <laughs> yeah, my wife and I, and our boy, we was robbed a few mm. days ago. Lucky to get out with our lives, we was. Now, uh, well, we need money. Yeah, there's bad folk out there. Yeah, tell me about it. a wagon by any chance? Sure. Well, then maybe you could run some goods up to Pronghorn Ranch for me. You know, uh, head west past Owen Gila, then follow the road north, lead you right there. I, I don't know where that is, but I'm sure I can find it. I can leave right now, if you'd like. It's Getty's place. Fine fella. Uh, where's the wagon? It's just outside. Um, yeah, I should go tell my wife, and then I can come back and get loaded. No, my boys can load you up while you go find your wife. Okay. You heard it? We got a job. So we've got to head up to Proghorn Ranch. I'll we'll go to the doctor's office to uh, meet with Abigail. Okay, we're going to see her. Oh my god, what a mission that was. Poor Arthur. Um, yeah, what a legend he was. Brilliant character. Hard. Um, but yeah, he did what he said and he got hey, lots of daisy. And he got. John and Abigail to safety. Right, so we're in the doctor's place now. Thank 
Thank you, Doctor. Hey, <laughs> how you getting on? I well, found some work. Me too. Delivering goods out to some ranch. Cleaning a doctor's surgery. Fine yeah. living. It is, John. Oh, it is. This is the way to it. I'll take your word on that. What do you suggest now? I'll stay here. Get on with the work. You deliver them goods and then collect me. Okay. And John, I love you. Don't you forget that. Not ever now. I won't. Beauty, so things are looking up. Right, we'll get back to the wagon. We'll go and deliver these goods. That's a Broghorn Ranch. See if these guys have loaded it up. Loaded up pretty good, Milton. Beauty. Good. You ride slow now. Gettys don't want his goods damaged. Okay. Of course. Right, so we'll head up to Proghorn Ranch when we're a bit nearer. We will see you there. This must be it. So welcome back. So we're just getting to Proghorn Ranch now. Uh, with the goods from Mr. Giddies, I think his name was. Uh, so we're doing some honest uh, work for a change. It's quite a nice place. Oh, I want to go over there. Right, we'll go and park it up. You Mr. Geddes? No, sir. I'm Mr. Dickens, his overseer. Jim Milton. I'm delivering some supplies from the store in Strawberry. Okay. This is quite a place. Yes, it's beautiful. Oh. We send everything? Yeah, I think so. So, partner, your boss, he looking for hands? Why? You looking for work? Yeah. My wife, we was in business with her family and turned sour. It's a long story. Yeah, I don't know. Married hands. It's a lot of trouble. I'm a good worker. My wife, Agatha, even our boy, Lancelot. We <laughs> all work. Big oh, man God. around, boy? Get the hell out of here. <laughs> now, that ain't very neighborly. And threatening us is neighborly. Hey, mind if I enjoy one of these apples? Put that down. <laughs> Delicious. Oh, when's uh, Boss Man gonna sell this place, boy? I don't think there's any plans for that. You boys want a drink? It's some fine scotch whiskey. Put that down. Put that down. Oh, these supplies for the season. Get off the farm. Come on. <laughs> we know when we're not walking. Oh, now they're taking the wagon. <laughs> Bye, bud. <laughs> Come back here. <laughs> hey. Take hey. A horse if you need it. Right. And don't Let's... get yourself hurt. Or hurt them for that matter. Let's go and get him back. Oh, the hell's already started. That's my damn wagon. There's always idiots wherever you go, isn't there? Right, stop the wagon. You can block its path or jump aboard. Right, let's do that. Let's jump on it. Look at this hand here! Oh, nearly got it. Oh, I keep bloody hitting a tree when I'm about to jump on it. This one's got a stone. Yeah, get him off. Right, let's get him back. Beauty, so this will uh, look good for John if he wants a job. Isn't it? Those boys are out of Laramie. Work for Mr. Abel. Thank you. Don't mention it. Listen, I ain't looking for no charity or nothing, but I was serious. You got work? We'll work. I can do anything. We got... We got robbed ourselves a few days back. We ain't got married hands here. You're married. I work harder than any one of them. I'm real honest. And my wife, even though she's got fancy thoughts, She'll work. Seem kind of desperate. What trouble you in? No trouble, sir. Aside from her brother. He tricked us and robbed her of her inheritance. We're good people. We'll work. Even Lancelot. <laughs> what does Mr. Geddes need with a boy? Just another mouth to feed. Just 
Please give us a chance. I can handle myself, okay? You know that already. Yeah. Makes me wonder just who would have robbed you. But we'll give you a chance. Yeah, I'll let Mr. Geddes know when him and his wife return tomorrow. Thank you, Mr. Dickens. I'll go get my wife. Nah, no, you stay here. It's getting late. We'll go get her in Strawberry. We'll bring her here tomorrow. We need you around in case any more of them Laramie boys turns up. There's a, a little cabin out yonder past the ranch house. Things work out, y'all can stay there. Nice. Thank you. You'll not regret this. Yep. We'll get yourself settled. We'll have work for you tomorrow when Mr. Geddes returns. Beauty. Oh, it's a nice little place. This'll do. Proghorn Ranch. Right, okay, that was a big one and a long one. Uh, and quite a sad one, really. Arthur Morgan, unfortunately, is dead. Uh, but he did what he set out to do, and he um, he got John and his family free. Uh, but we're going to miss him. He was a brilliant character. Uh, but it's nice to be back as John Marston. Uh, so that'll be good. Um, but I just want to say thanks a lot for taking the time out to watch my video. It's uh, quite a long one, this one. But uh, I really do appreciate it. Uh, but if you did like what you saw and you would consider subscribing, that'd be absolutely bonza. But until the next one, stay safe and take it easy.